My name is Sergio Martinez. Uh, I'm a leader with uh, Airmap uh, in Detroit. I am a dreamer. I was brought to this country when I was five years old along with my six-month-old brother um, that brought us here, loved the country, and did everything they could to uh, learn the language. They worked hard. And they worked hard in um, factory work that often exploited them. Um, soy Sergio Martinez, soy un dreamer. Y mis padres me trajeron aquí cuando tenía cinco años, uh, con mi hermano que tenía seis meses. Uh, yo vi cómo les encantó ese país y cómo trabajaron tan duro um, horas y horas en en fábrica que no les pagaba bien, que trabajaban en condiciones horribles. Um, mi hermano y yo crecimos americanos. Um, nos graduamos de la escuela de, de, de chiquitos um, hasta obtener nuestro diploma de, de la high school. Um, my brother and I grew up American. We graduated from uh, Michigan schools, uh, from preschool on until high school. I, uh, I, did never, I never felt different than any of my peers or neighbors throughout my whole life. I, um, we, were, uh, we were never affected negatively until uh, 2005 when the Real ID Act passed that required everyone to uh, have a social security number in order to receive or obtain any identification. Um, nunca nos, nos afectó vivir en, estas, en este país um, en, un, en una uh, en un um, en una forma negativa hasta que nos pidieron seguros para, para obtener nuestras licencias y después de eso todo cambió uh, I saw my father um, work really hard and obtain the American dream he was a truck driver and with that job he was able to obtain uh, a job that gave us health insurance and benefits and um, gave us security, uh, which is what every parent strives for for their child. The, um, my, when my dad couldn't renew his, his ID because he didn't have a social security number, he lost everything. Uh, we went from living the American dream to having it ripped out of our hands. Uh, he filed for bankruptcy, foreclosure, lost his home, and our, we lost all of our cars. The pressure was too much, and this led for my parents' divorce. Uh, I have not seen my mother, um, or my, my brother hasn't seen my mother either since uh, going on five years because we have no status. Um, I learned to be extremely successful and ambitious in everything I do because of my father. Uh, while my friends were going to college, I was left in the shadows being turned down because I didn't have a social security number. I remained ambitious and worked in the restaurant where I worked my way up as a manager. At the age of 21, I was in charge, and ever since I've been employed, I've been paying taxes. I ultimately want to open my own business in Detroit and contribute to my community, and I am able, I'm not able to do so because I have no status. I have experienced firsthand how badly this outdated, broken immigration system has affected not only my family, not only my community, but communities like ours all across this nation. Um, neglecting this policy has turned this policy issue into a civil rights issue of our time. This is why I quit my job and I have become an organizer and an activist for this issue. And this is fixed by a pathway to citizenship, and we will not stand for less. I stand before you representing millions of people who are terribly affected in this legal limbo. Families like mine are ready to contribute. We are, we are ready. We are. Um, we need an earned pathway to citizenship, so that hardworking families like mine can come out of the shadows and have their dignity restored and be able to be reunited with their families and fully be contrib fully contribute to this country that we all love so much. Thank you guys.